Hi, I'm Dan Ungaro with Soundscape Car Audio in Plano, Texas. Today we're going to talk about how to hook up an iPod connection to a Pioneer stereo. If you've got an iPod or an iPhone, chances are you want it to work with your stereo. And if you've already got a Pioneer radio, there's connections for that. If you've already got your radio installed and all you need to do is add the iPod connection, um, this is how you do it. First, you want to remove the radio from the, the dash. Um, if you installed it yourself, it should be easy. Uh, if not, um, you may want to look online and find some instructions on how to take your particular radio out of your particular dash. So once you gain access to the rear of the radio, you want to look. This is an AVIC 940BT. Um, on this particular model, the connection is right here on the back. The cable that comes with it for that looks like this. This is the connector. And that connector seats right in like this. You want to feed that cable through to, you know, some people use the glove box, some people run through the, uh, the center console or something like that. Sometimes just down by the side and just, you know, have it available down there. But wherever you choose to do it, there's plenty of slack to do it most anywhere you would want to have it. So the other part that you would use, once you have this in there, is the actual iPod connection. I would suggest to leave the USB and auxiliary portion of this available so that if you want to plug in some other device, you're able to do that. So then you have your iPod connection there. Then all there is left to do is to plug your iPod in. Now allow it to charge and give you access to your library. So that's how you hook up the iPod cable to your Pioneer car stereo. I'm Dan Ungaro with Soundscape Car Audio.